everyone, it's Charity Preston here from the Organized Classroom Vlog. It's great to see you back today. All right, so here's a fun little tip that actually came from a comment on one of my blog posts. This tip came from Janice. Thank you so much, Janice, for the fantastic idea. It was the blog post where I was actually talking about the Think Fun, the Math Dice, and the Math Dice Junior. And we were talking about how the noise from the dice, like for instance, I'm going to roll this on my desk. If you have 30 sets of those or 15 sets of those, they could pretty much drive you insane with all the noise. And she actually posted up underneath the post and in one of the comments, a fantastic idea that I wanted to share with you today. Now, in addition to her idea, I also wanted to mention that I um, purchased a bunch of these. These are, they look like regular dice, but they're actually erasers that I found at the dollar store several years ago, and I bought tons and tons of packs of these. Now, third graders will pick at them and pick the corners once they realize they're erasers. You have to kind of keep an eye on them, but they are fantastic. You can't hear them hardly at all when they drop because they're just rubber erasers and they roll just like a regular dice would. So anyway, that's a little tip. If you happen to run across those, grab them up in, in, in bunches because they were one of the best investments that I've ever, ever made. And I only use them as dice. They are not used as erasers at all. I don't even mention it to the students. But of course, you'll have a few that, that will catch on to that. All right, so for today's project, you are going to need a pie pan and a, a foil pie pan. Seriously, these were, I think, six of them in a pack for $2, maybe. So relatively very inexpensive. Then you're also going to need, Janice actually suggested felt, to put felt in the bottom of the pan. I couldn't find felt in the store that I was at today, so I had to improvise, which I tend to do a lot. So I think felt would work phenomenally, but I didn't have any. So I actually went with foam and I was going, I had big sheets of foam and I was just literally going to set, set the tin on top of the foam, trace around the foam with the, the edge of the pan here and then cut it out so I could lay them, the foam on the inside. All I, I actually found fancy circles that were already cut out. Now, the difference is here, if I was to do a whole bunch of these, I would probably get the, the regular size foam. Maybe, maybe not, depending on my time limit. These don't fit all the way right inside of here. There, there's a little bit of gap, as you'll see in my example as well. So basically, all you're going to do is put your, your foam piece or your uh, felt piece right in the middle of that pie pan. You are going to want to glue it down. Mine are actually taped in there only because I was in a hurry to create them this morning, but you could certainly glue them down nice and well um, as well. And then this is what mine looks like. And then all I did was take foamy stickers, sticky foamy stickers, and I just put them around my pie plates. Here's Here's mine. You could do it around the outside if you wanted. I chose not to do it on the outside because I want to be able to stack them when the students are finished using them and put them on, on um, my shelf or wherever, my cabinet, wherever I have them stored. And if you put this, them around the outside, then they're, they're not going to stack as well. Another idea that I had, but I'm totally not crafty, so I'm sure a million people other are. Um, take stickers and put them around the outside or some kind of paper perhaps and Mod Podge it and then put your circle in the middle. It would probably look way super cute. I'm just not that crafty so I went with the one thing that I know that I can do and foamy stickers is where it's at for me. You could even have students do these maybe the first week of school. Lay out all the foamy stickers and have them have at it and decorate them for you however you would like to do it. Now, the difference is, let's take a listen to our dice here and what it sounds like. Much, much better than all over the table. Now, keep in mind, mine were a little bit louder too because I don't, mine don't go all the way to the edge. My circle doesn't. 
But this also then, I love this because it then keeps it contained in the circle so they're not throwing dice all over the place and all over the floor and everywhere else. This is super nice for that. When it's time to clean up, you put all the dice in the top one, stack them up, and you're good to go. So thank you so much to Janice for that fantastic idea. Keep them coming, guys. Like I said, use the contact me form at the Organized Classroom blog under the About tab right at the very top of the tool par toolbar. You can contact me, email me, let me know some of your other cool, simple, make it take it ideas that you could be doing in your classroom or setting up. And if it's simple and it's not too crafty, <laughs> because I'm not that crafty, um, please send them to me. I may make a video about it. I'm, I'm so excited. I love sharing these ideas with everyone here and showing you how I would use them in the classroom. So thank you, Kimokami. As always, visit us at theorganizedclassroomblog.com or at our Facebook fan page, which is facebook.com forward slash theorganizedclassroomblog. All right, that's it for today. We'll see you again in the next one. All right, bye.